Hi, uh, we're three engineering students from Whitworth University. I'm Derek Stahlmeyer. I am Dan Belay. And I'm Liam O'Brien. Okay, and we're here tonight to demonstrate the prototype wind tunnel we created for the Mobius Science Center um, in Spokane, Washington. And our objectives for this wind tunnel was to have this plane demonstrate roll pitch and yaw and also the lift. And we're going to take you through the different components of our wind tunnel. And Liam is going to start you guys off with the fan. All right, to get things going, you need a wind source. So we were lent a uh, one horsepower fan from Unifier Company in Spokane. It's got a 22 inch diameter, and uh, it does a good job of supplying the wind velocity that we need to lift the plane. Next component of this wind tunnel is this grate system that we created. What the grate system does is smooths out the airflow um, to get better reaction of the plane at the other end and it was constructed out of one inch diameter PVC pipe and it was cut into four inch segments and we wrapped it together using quarter inch steel grate and as you can see the structure fits nicely into uh, this end of the wind tunnel and it provides a uh, very nice smooth airflow for the prototype. And next Liam is going to talk about the construction of the, of the wind tunnel itself. Okay so the actual wind tunnel is about 90 inches long um, from the grating to the plane, it's about 70 inches, and um, it's 19 inches high, 18 inches wide. Um, as you can see, we cut plexiglass windows for the, the user to see what he's actually doing. And uh, we cut an accessibility pane in the top so that we could actually work on the plane throughout the project. And here, 70 inches from the grating, we have the RC airplane, which was purchased from B&B Hobbies here in Spokane. The RC airplane has a wingspan of approximately 16 inches. It is connected to a retrofitted low-grade PVC faucet uh, via a dowel and a washer. The retrofitted PVC faucet is then connected to a telescoping arm. The arm has a spring attached to it that assists and lift for the airplane as well as provides a dampening force as the airplane loses lift or noses down. The RC airplane is powered by two wires that run up the telescoping arm as you can see there. These power wires power the engine as well as the servos within the airplane. The three servos power the three control surfaces on the airplane. One of, the, one of these control surfaces is the ailerons on the wings which control the roll, which moves from side to side. One of the other servos controls the elevators on the horizontal stabilizers in the back. The elevators control the pitch of the airplane up and down. And the third servo controls the rudder on the vertical stabilizer, which controls yaw left to right. To power the RC airplane, we have the wires running down through the telescopic arm to a power supply which powers the airplane via 4.12 volts approximately, a constant source. To control the RC airplane, we have a remote which can also be powered by the power supply. For our demonstration purposes, it is, uh, it is a true remote. And right now we are going to provide you with a short demonstration of the three objectives of the wind tunnel, which are roll, yaw, and pitch. And we will, we will do those in succession.
any kid that sits down at this exhibit can take the remote control and uh, by manipulating the different control surfaces he can learn um, how they affect the motion of the plane. Uh, I would encourage you to leave any comments or questions that you have and we'll be checking this video regularly. Thanks for watching.